So I wasn't planning on making this video today, but you guys are going to want to capitalize on this ASAP because this new mini chat feature is an absolute game changer if you're a coach, consultant, or online business owner. And this isn't some random hype either. This is something that we've all been asking for for years and mini chat finally did it. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what it is, how to set it up for maximum potential and how to solve the one issue that I kept running into that had me banging my head up against the wall for literal hours. Let's dive in. So the new feature that ManyChat added is in fact automatic DMs to new followers. Yes, they finally did it. Not only do you no longer have to rely on a VA or assistant or manually message everybody yourself who's a new follower, but the big, the massive unlock here is that now you're actually able to bypass all the messaging limits on Instagram. Most people run into this problem because they can't get to actually message everybody because they run into hard caps and then their profile gets locked down or banned or shadow banned. This completely eliminates that. So if you're running follower ads, DM ads, influencer shout out campaigns, or even just have a piece of content that pops off and goes viral for you, you are now actually able to capture all of that traffic automatically without lifting a finger. So let's take a look at how to actually set this up for yourself. So now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna log into your ManyChat account. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm assuming that you already know how to connect your ManyChat, connect your Instagram, and get all that stuff working. If you don't, I have a free community called Scalable Creator. The link is in the description below. It has resources and step-by-step -step guides and more videos showing you how to maximize ManyChat and all of those things. So feel free to check that out in the link below. Now, once you're already inside your ManyChat, you're gonna see this new box pop up here that says, say hi to new followers. So we're gonna wanna click on this and you're gonna have a screen that pops up that looks something like this. We don't want to actually edit any of our flow from here, but we have to entertain this for the time being. So we're gonna wanna click next, click next, and then hit go live. Oh, let's go. Okay, test, we're just gonna fill this out. Hit go live just so that we can get this going. Great, I'm gonna click done. You're gonna see a screen that looks like this. All we have to do is come up into the top right-hand corner next to edit and stop. We're gonna click these three dots and we're gonna hit switch to flow builder. This unlocks so many more capabilities that we need in order to make the most out of this actual flow. And I'm gonna show you what mine looks like in just a second, because right now this is a dummy account. So I'm gonna show you the one that I'm actually using so that you can just replicate it for yourself and steal my exact system. Okay, so once we click switch to Flow Builder, you're gonna get this little dialog box that pops up here, and we're just gonna ignore what they say and hit switch to Flow Builder. So I'm gonna hop into the other one now. Now that we're in the Flow Builder, this is how we want to set this up. Now, the initial one, the initial trigger is gonna be user follows your account. This will automatically populate. We are going to want to basically clear out almost everything except for the first message that remained after that simple setup process that ManyChat automatically puts in here for you. So just delete everything except for the first message and we're gonna rebuild this from scratch. So when I get a new follower, this is what I like to send. I say, yo, thanks for the follow. If you're just here for the videos and the vibes, welcome. Kind of gives them a little bit of an out. And then I say, if you're here to learn how to grow your education business from 10 to 50K a month, I've got something you might like. And then we have a button. And the reason we have to have this button here is because this doesn't initiate the conversation with your lead just yet. They actually have to click a button or interact with the bot itself before it can take over the conversation. Otherwise, you're really just limited to this first message, even with the simple flow. But once they click this, then we can send the next piece. So I like to send uh, a little GIF here, you know, run burgundy. It just keeps things light and fun. So I say, sweet. I've put together a short training of everything I've learned from scaling more than a dozen businesses past 50K a month. I've turned it into a training that shows you how to operate it in your business in less than 20 hours a week. It's a short training. It pulls back the curtain on the entire system. If you'd like it, drop your email below and I'll send it over. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm sending people the opportunity to capture a training that I've created, which is in fact a webinar or a VSL or something to that effect. You can have a guide, a free lead magnet, whatever it is, as long as it walks these new leads 
through the way that you solve their problem. That's the key here. We don't just wanna give away anything. We wanna make sure that what we're giving them is gonna help lead them through their buyer journey to becoming a client with us. So we ask for what their email is, and then we send it right over to them. So we say, perfect, you should get that into your inbox in just a moment. Make sure to check your promo tab just in case. In the meantime, here's a link to my community, Scalable Creator, which has mini courses, other resources, and more. And so I drop the link to my community, which is also going to build up my community with new leads just based on my followers. So what I'm doing is I'm essentially giving new followers access to everything they need in order to work with me. And then the next one I drop just right below is literally just work with me, which I send to a Google Doc where they can just view and see exactly what my offer is so that people who are fast lane leads who want to just, they know what I am, they've seen my content, they like what I'm about, they just want to see what the offer is. I'm just going to give it to them if they're the type of person who wants that. So now they know what I offer. Now they know what I can do, how I can solve their problem, how I can help. And they have all these other links that they can use to get more value from me. So if they don't drop the email, I have some basic follow-up set up in here. Wait 30 minutes and then continue. Do you still want to check out the training first name? Drop your email below and I'll send it over. We wait for their email. We trigger the same automatic zaps, which... For the purpose of this video, I'm not going to go through and show you how to set up a zap. If you want, I have all of this stuff in my community, Scalable Creator. The link is in the description below. There's videos and guides and things that will walk you through all of that. It's very simple, but it's just going to distract from today's training. So we ask them for their email, then we zap it over, which that zap is going to send them the email to whatever the thing is that they just requested. Your guide, your webinar, your VSL, low ticket program, whatever it is that you're doing, that you're sending them, okay? That's now handled on the automation side. If they don't respond again, I like to send them this little Kevin Hart meme, and then I say, dang, <laughs> it's like that, is it? I'm just gonna drop it for you here just in case you still wanna check it out, and then I just give them the link. Because for me, this is a free training that showcases them based on everything they need to do to scale their business, which is also the same path that I help them with. So what I want is I want them to actually go through and see these are the things that are required for them to do what they need to do in order to get from 10K a month to 50K a month, all right? So then I insert myself at the end of it and say, cool, now you know everything that you need to do. Would you like some help with that? And by the way, this is also how you can sell to your clients, guys, without being super, super salesy or being one of those bro marketing douchebags. You just show them the path, offer to make it faster, easier, or better for them. It's as simple as that. So once they do that, I send in one more follow-up where I just say, hey, by the way, I've got a ton of trainings and resources just like this. Happy to hook you up if you think that that would help. Just need to know what kind of business you run and what's the immediate bottleneck you're having. Let me know. I'll shoot something over to help. Now, you can customize this any way you want, depending on the type of coach that you are. You can just say, hey, I just need to know what your fitness goals are. Just need to know what you're dealing with in your relationship. What's the immediate bottleneck? What's the immediate struggle? What's the immediate challenge? Let me know and I'll shoot something over to help. Basically, we're, we're opening the door to provide more value. Now, the reason why we do this is if you look at the flow, they haven't responded in a while. They initially responded to the first thing, but as soon as we asked for their email, they kind of shut down a little bit. So what we're doing is we're offering to just add more value to the conversation, but this opens the door and we say, hey, by the way, if you actually want more value, something specific, I'm happy to help hook you up, but you need to actually respond to this message. And once they respond, now if we do have an SDR, a DM set or whatever it is, they can hop in here and you know start setting that call. Beyond that, once they actually submit their email and start moving forward in the process, again, we send them this piece here. And then what we want to do is we want to track the links that they click. And based on the links that they click, we're just going to wait a little bit uh, and then we're going to send them an initial follow-up because most people, they'll click on this and then they're not going to uh, proceed to the next step automatically. Usually most people need a little bit of a nudge. So we're just going to do this automatically. And so what I like to send is if they clicked the work with me, which is the priority, I'm going to say, hey, what did you think about the program name? Do you have any questions about it? Are you ready to scale up this month? And now I'm reopening this conversation for, again, either myself, an SDR, or somebody else, another team member to jump in and now take that conversation with a qualified lead. Plus, when we see this message in our DMs, we know that that person has actually checked out the offer. So we know that they're somewhat engaged. If not, we're going to say, hey, did you get a chance to check out the training in the group yet? This could be, you could send them to something completely different. I use the group because that's where I host all of my resources and things like that. 
So it's a great place for them to go in and scope that out. It's also a great place for you to go in and scope that out. But this is why I just want to check in with them and it gives us another touch point, but it also signals to me and to my team what type of person, what type of lead they are. Because again, this is stacked in a hierarchy. If they don't click on any of them, I'm just going to say, hey, did you get a chance to check out the training yet? You know, name. And again, this tells us what type of lead this person is. So now this is the exact flow that I'm using. And you can see why this setup works so well at scale for new leads. I could pump a thousand leads through this in a day without catching any kind of messaging ban from Instagram because this is all super meta compliant. Now, if you want a copy of this exact workflow so you don't have to go through and build the whole thing by yourself, head on over to Instagram, DM me the word many chat and it'll put you through a very similar system, bit shorter, that will send this exact system to you so that you can one click, install it into your mini chat, and you're good to go. You don't have to go through and actually manually input every single piece like this. Now, the next piece that I'm gonna cover is if you can't get to this part, when you actually go to load this in, what might happen to you, and this is what happened to me, was it will tell you that you need to authenticate or re-authenticate your uh, Instagram connection. Now this drove my head up an absolute wall because what ended up happening was Facebook didn't connect properly with ManyChat. And so I'm gonna show you how to fix that right now. So now if you're having trouble connecting to the new Meta Business API, what happened, and this is what happened to me, is Instagram was forcing the connection through their old Instagram OAuth approach. Now what happens is they don't actually get access to the new API features. And it was absolutely maddening. What would happen is, I'll show you in a second here, but when I went to log into this Instagram connect piece, is it would only show login through Instagram. But when I went to log in through Instagram, it would tell me that I had to log into a Facebook profile that was connected to that Instagram account. So if you're on a professional account, a business account, this very well could happen to you. So now when I went to connect my Instagram channel, I would click the connect button and what would populate here is it would say connect via meta. And when I did that, the only option to log in was to sign in via Instagram. And no matter how many times I spun it up, it would not work for me. So now if you're having trouble connecting to the new API, here's what you need to do. First of all, you need to go into your business manager, make sure that your Instagram page first off is set to a, either a creator or a business account. It cannot be done on a personal Instagram account. And so you need to make sure that your Instagram page is loaded into your business manager and connected to a Facebook account. If you come into your business portfolio, you come down to accounts, pages, you click on the page that it's supposed to be connected with, and you're gonna see something that looks like this. If you've done this properly, click connected access, you're gonna see your Instagram account is connected to the page here. The other piece that you need to know is you need to make sure that with your Instagram account and with your page account, you need to make sure that the person connected to it is your personal Facebook account and that you have access to everything on here. Okay, you need to make sure that you have access to all of these things or this very likely will not work for you. Now, if you're like me and you've gone through and you've done this basic part and it's still not allowing you to log in via Meta, I'm gonna show you the workaround that worked for me and I spent hours troubleshooting this with ChatGPT in order to figure this out. And it was something that was on the many chat side that was breaking the login. I tried resetting my cookies, clearing my browser, logging in through incognito window and trying all of this resetting process through Meta. I deleted my Instagram and my Facebook from ManyChat. I deleted the cookies, the tokens, all the things on all the other places, and none of that actually worked. So I'm gonna show you what actually worked because this is not a super straightforward fix, but it worked for me, and hopefully, if you're running into this issue, it'll work for you as well. So now when you actually go to connect, what you're gonna see is you're gonna see this dialogue box pop up like this, and you're gonna see this thing that says log in with Instagram. If you're like me, what's gonna happen is you're gonna click this, you're gonna try to log in through your existing Instagram account, and even though everything else is connected, it's gonna tell you you need to sign in with the Facebook account linked to your Instagram account. But if you look here, there is no option to sign in with your Facebook account. So I'm gonna show you how you can force that option to show up because this is still doing this right now, and it was absolutely maddening. So the way to solve this 
is once you start this connection request, you're gonna to wanna to take this URL. We're gonna come in here and we're gonna paste this into a Google Doc. Now, this is gonna look like a whole bunch of gobbledygook and gibberish to most of you, but there's some things that you have to take out and repaste this into a new browser to make this work. So you're gonna see this where it says default business login option, and then you're gonna see there's a percentage sign, a three and a capital D. This is just code speak. So we're gonna delete that all the way up until where it says auth type. So be very careful that this is the only thing that you've selected and we're just going to delete this. Now the next piece that you have to take out of it is if you look down here, you're gonna see login options and we're going to delete all of this, including the and signed. So everything that I have highlighted right here, we're gonna to need to delete that and just take it right out. So now what you're gonna to wanna to do next is we're gonna take this URL, we're going to copy it, and then we're gonna come back to this page and we're just going to paste this into the URL bar and watch what happens. Now you can see it's saying log in with Facebook. So if you're running into this error, once you actually click on this button, it will allow you to log in with your Facebook account, make sure you're selecting the right page, the right Instagram account, the right business profile, and you're actually gonna be able to connect to the new API. So if you've been struggling with this problem, this is the fix. This is something on many chats and it's an authentication issue where they are passing through the wrong information to Facebook. As long as you take those two pieces out, like I just showed you, it'll work just fine. And once you fix this issue, you're gonna finally be able to log in with the new API, use that new flow that we just set up and start capitalizing on all the new followers coming into your account. So look, Obviously, you're not gonna scale with just ManyChat on its own. You're gonna need the eyeballs, the traffic, and everything that happens in between. Now, if you wanna check out a short training that I made that covers literally everything you need to know, including an actual plan to scale past 10K a month, then go watch that short video here. I hope this has been helpful. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.